Hey everybody, we're back at the Dollar Tree to find out what's vegan on a budget. Let's go inside and see what they have. All right, the first thing I'm finding are these bars of soap. And uh, I'm always looking for soap that's vegan and this says vegan and cruelty free right on it. Um, I think it also says gluten free, but uh, we're not eating it. We just wanna know that it's, yep, it says gluten free. But most importantly, they are all vegan and they have a bunch to choose from. I actually am gonna pick up a few of these and right there it says made in the USA. We got rose or rose and green tea. And there's the ingredients if you wanna pause it. Check that out. Oatmeal and coconut, I grabbed myself one of these. I always love oatmeal soap, oatmeal shampoo. And they also have shave cream. Right there on the back it says vegan, which I'm liking, I like when something says vegan. It's easy. And they have this power stick. So antiperspirant deodorant. I've never tried this, but it says vegan right there on the back if you're looking for one. Um, I didn't pick it up, but maybe I'll have to pick this up next time. Another body wash, power stick. I actually grabbed this and it says vegan right there. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, vegan friendly freeze dried strawberry snacks over in the snack aisle. And they've got a bunch of different ones of these. Strawberry banana. And right there on the back, it's got all your disclaimers for allergens. But most importantly, it says vegan. That's what we're looking for here in this video. And truth be told, these are only like $1.25. Everything in the store is pretty much $1.25. Who'd have thunk the Dollar Tree? So we got mangoes. I've never seen this brand before either. I haven't tried these, so let me know in the comments below if you have what you think of them, if they're good, if they're worth it for $1.25. We got these veggie chips, sea salt. They look pretty good and uh, suitable for vegans. They're always coming up with new things to say. Um, these spicy chili and lime. Now these got a lot of ingredients on it. Probably wouldn't eat it. They got the red 40, but they do seem to be vegan. So also these chili lime flavored things. These are more highly processed, but hey, if you're on a budget, you're looking for snacks, they are vegan. Although I would say, uh, don't put all those ingredients in your body. These are really good. Um, not as bad of ingredients, but still a lot of ingredients. And then we got these Mott Berry gummies. Kind of like, uh, you guys remember fun fruits back in the day? Gelatin free, gluten free, fat free. There's the ingredients if you wanna pause it for my shaky hands. And then we got these Skinny Pop Kettle Corn. Look at this, white cheddar. You would think, white cheddar not vegan? Nope, vegan, vegan certified. Pick some of that up and enjoy your Skinny Pop. Only $1.25 here at the Dollar Tree. And then we have these breakfast coconut cookie crackers, whatever. Uh, veggie chips, sea salted. I've showed these before, but hey, that's a pretty big bag for $1.25. And there's your ingredients. And then of course, these are all canned goods if you wanna stock up on canned goods. I think if you really try to bargain, you can find these a little bit cheaper at, at maybe Aldi. Uh, True North, I don't, I don't do these power drinks, uh, energy drinks, but these are vegan. There are the ingredients right there. I don't know, that's a lot of ingredients. And then we got Annie's tomato soup. Now here's a steal because I think Annie's are pretty expensive in other stores, but right here they're only $1.25. So you can get yourself some tomato soup, organic ingredients. Yes, that cane sugar is not processed through bone jar. And we have some rice. I picked up a few bags of these just because I've been making food for my dogs lately. We got blueberry muffin super coffee, positive energy. There's the ingredients and it says plant-based right there, dairy-free, it is vegan. Tomatoes and okra and corn, hmm. I wonder how that would be. It is vegan. And the long grain white rice packets, uh, that's pretty cheap, you know, for one of these. Cheaper than I've seen them anywhere else. So on a bargain, you can have yourself a meal, a rice meal. Maybe put some uh, Indian curry on that or something like that. Jasmine rice, we got another one of these. And uh, the reason why I'm, I'm showing these is because I know at Wegmans, they're like, uh, you know, two, three, four dollars for one of these. So it's a pretty good deal compared to what other stores sell them for. Uh, Domino sugar. Now remember, I've said this many times, 
If it's manufactured in Maryland, Florida, or New York, it's not processed through bone char, which this one is in Florida. Otherwise, it's processed through bone char. We got this oat drink here. And those are your ingredients. Uh, crispy onions. Maybe put that on a salad or something. Or hey, just eat it right out of the bag, right? And these garlic croutons. I love croutons. I always have since I was a kid. So a whole bag of croutons that are vegan. Yeah. I might want to try these out for $1.25. And the wonton strips. Another thing you can throw in your salad to make it more tasty, crunchy. And then we have ice cream cones. I know, I know. Not good for you, but there they are. Vegan baked soft pretzels for $1.20. These are the cheapest I've seen these anywhere. There's your ingredient list. And spring rolls, they still have these here in the freezer section. Um, these aren't new, I've seen these before. I think I featured them in a prior video. There's your ingredient list. And then they have these um, ice creams or water ice Cher is what they call it. Cherry, premium Italian ice, mango Italian ice. I think the, the mango one would be good. I haven't tried it though. So let me know, let me know in the comments below. And then we got these Minute Maid Limeade Cherry. There's your ingredients if you want to pause that and look at those. It is bioengineered, so these are not non-GMO. Contains bioengineered food, which I, I'm, I'm glad that they put that warning label on there. And then we have uh, coconut pineapple, blue Hawaiian water ice. If I'm going to go for the ice creams, I'm going to go for like the chocolate or vanilla. They even have these Wiley Wallaby soft and chewy candies. I got some of these in a vegan cuts box a couple months ago, and then I found them at Target. Well, they have different flavors here, and they're only $1.25, and they say vegan right there on the package. And these are the exact ones I got in the vegan cuts box. Now, the Swedish fish, I want to say, look, Mondelay, the parent company here, are not a very good company to buy from. Ethically, they violated their agreement with the sanctions with the RSPO for palm oil, and their sugar is largely processed through bone char. However, there are no actual animal ingredients in these products. And that brings us to the end of this video, but I do want to showcase a few things that I found that may or may not be vegan. I'm still waiting to hear back from the company. We have Idahoan mashed potatoes. They have monoglycerides in them, which which may or may not be vegan. These most likely are vegan, but I'm still waiting to hear back from them. And also this almond milk. Now I would have never for a minute thought almond milk wouldn't be vegan, but I noticed it has vitamin D3 in it. So I reached out to them to find out if it's animal or plant-based and I am still waiting to hear back. So make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and hit the notifications button and thumbs up this video and you can always go over to my website theveganzombie.com and pick up one of my ebooks or some of my merchandise hoodies t-shirts every little bit helps keeping this channel going and that's it for this video don't forget to watch out for zombies and i'll see you guys next time